Notch, also known as Marcus Person, is the creator of Minecraft, and I'm sure you guys know that. But today we're going to take a look at 10 things that you didn't know about Notch. So with that being said, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up as likes are greatly appreciated, and let's go ahead and hop into it. We all know Notch has created Minecraft and he's done an absolutely amazing job at it, but he's had other games in the past that he has created, such as Zero X10C, which is a sandbox science fiction video game. We also have Minicraft, which is a 2D top-down action game, kind of kind of like Minecraft, but kind of like a 2D version. We also have Worm Online, which is a 3D massive multiplayer online role-playing game. So Notch, of course, has a family, but do you know his family members? Have you ever seen them before? I feel like this is kind of creepy, you know, us looking at his family members. But by the way, Notch's middle name, so we have Marcus Alex Edge. Yeah, kind of a weird middle name, but um, it's, it's cool. It's really unique, and I like it. But he is currently married to Ellen and Zetter Sand, Zetter Strand. I'm sorry if I pronounce these uh, names wrong, as they are from a different country than I am in. And then we also have his father which is um burger I, i'm gonna go for with burger uh, google translate says burger so i'm gonna go with burger it's like burger with the with the eye which is pretty cool and then we also have his mother which is retiva i i don't know i'm so sorry if i pronounce those wrongs but yeah that is notch's uh mother father and his current wife Minecraft has over a hundred million downloads on all the consoles combined, so therefore that made Notch a very wealthy person and he decided to spend 70 million dollars on a house in Beverly Hills. He actually outbidded Jay-Z and Beyonce on this house. It has 8 bedrooms and 15 bathrooms and I'm just gonna roll the clips and the pictures here and let you guys kind of enjoy Notch's home. When Notch was a child, he would run all the way home from school right to his Legos and spent most of his free time in front of his home computer. He was on the internet and searched for an inspiration for his project, and it could only begin after he figured out what type of game he wanted to create. Now keep in mind, this is before Minecraft, way before Minecraft. This is when Notch was in school. So the idea for Minecraft began to take shape when he first encountered the Dwarf Fortress game. With Notch running home from school to his Legos, he had a dream of being a video game developer ever since he was a child. And he had a privilege of working at Sweden's most successful gaming companies with unlimited budgets. However, he actually hated working there. One thing that inspired Notch to create Minecraft was Dwarf Fortress, but he also had a lot of other games such as Roller Coaster Tycoon, Infiniminer, and Dungeon Keeper. By the way, Dungeon Keeper actually inspired Notch to put villagers within the game. That's pretty sweet. In some scenarios, Notch is actually accused as a thief for cloning the video game Infiniminer. After uploading a cave test video, one of the very first appearances of gameplay for Minecraft, he stated, this is a very early test of a Infiniminer clone I'm working on. However, Zachary Barth, the creator of Infiniminer, doesn't see Notch as a thief for cloning his game. 
Zachary states, The act of borrowing ideas is an integral to the creative process. There are games that came before Infinite Minor, and there are games that will come after Minecraft. That's how it works. The game originally had the subtitle Order of the Stone, so it would have been called Minecraft Order of the Stone, kind of like Minecraft Story Mode Order of the Stone, which is a reference to the online series Order of the Stick, which Marcus is a very big fan of, but that idea was however scrapped before the game was even released to the public. Ellen, Notch's wife, was among the first in the world to try out a working version of Minecraft. As soon as it was ready, Marcus sent it to Ellen and asked her to play. When she logged in and started up the world, what she got was basically a demo, a world of blocks beneath a sky, and after a couple minutes of digging, building, she absolutely loved the game. This is so much fun, she stated. Ellen was Marcus's game tester. Every time he added a new feature to Minecraft, he sent her the latest version. Minecraft was to cost $13 during the alpha phase, the first period of development, mainly because it was a sum that Notch felt comfortable with, and when the game was complete, the price actually doubled. Notch states, The reason that I released the game so early was that I would never have been able to finish it otherwise. Charging money was about the same thing. I knew that I would never feel that it was good enough to put a price tag on, so I charged it from the start. And within the first 24 hours, Notch clicked on the sales and could hardly believe his eyes. 15 people had paid for the game in just 24 hours and more than $150 had landed into his PayPal account. Everyone, that is going to wrap up 10 things you didn't know about Notch. So hopefully after watching this video, you learned more about the creator of Minecraft, a game that has given me and you years of entertainment and memories to share. I want to thank you guys all so much for watching. And if you are new to this channel, you haven't probably seen me before, listen to my voice or subscribe to this channel, you should click that subscribe button to be notified when my next video is live as I do post one of these top 10 videos nearly every single day. It's not necessarily everyday things you didn't know about minecraft subjects but it might be just top tens about other things like top 10 secret commands or top 10 seeds or just crazy stuff or maybe other games top tens for other games like for example i think about two weeks ago i did a top 10 for far cry primal which was pretty sweet and a lot of fun to make so i want to thank you guys all so much for watching and if you guys haven't already be sure to give this video a thumbs up as likes are greatly appreciated and i will catch you guys later in another minecraft video Help!